like they take this view that like oh even this job of like managing the agents will just be done by the agents so like humans will be taken out of the of the process entirely but our belief my personal belief is that you know this is um management is very complicated um management is also like more about like what's the vision that you have and what's the sort of like what's the like end result you're aiming towards and those will be fundamentally i think like you know we have a human demand and human desire driven economy so those will be driven by humans and so i think the terminal state of the economy is just is large scale humans manage agents in a nutshell i have a funny story where um founder friend of mine is trying to promote uh one of his you know junior employees but they're really really smart and they're working on the agent infrastructure and then he was like hey do you want to like you know i'm looking for someone who could step into management you've never managed people before do you you know if we hired some people uh under you like how would you feel about that and uh this you know uh mid 20 something really smart you know sort of do you, he's just like he's an engineer and he's like why would i do that like just give me like more compute like <laughs> you know the model like look at what just happened to the model literally like last month and you know i didn't have to do anything it just started doing things that it couldn't do a month ago why would i want to manage people like just give me like i will just manage more agents for you and it's fine okay so what are the unique things that that um that humans will do over time i mean th i think this like this like element of vision um is very important this element of like kind of like debugging or sort of like um, fixing when things go wrong. Like most of a manager's job, speaking as a manager, um, <laughs> is, is just like putting out fires, dealing with problems, yeah. dealing with like, like issues that come up. Like I think intuitively, you know, I, the idealistic manager job seems like this very cushy job. Cause you're like, oh yeah, all the other people do all the work. And I'm just sort of like, I just vaguely supervise. And then the reality is obviously like highly chaotic. I think people often jump to this, like, you know, extreme reality where it's like, oh yeah, these like, you know, you're just going to manage the agents and you're going to sort of like live this like, you know, kind of Victorian life where all your problems are solved. But but no, I think it's still going to be pretty complicated, like getting agents to like coordinate well with one another and like coordinating the workflows and and then debugging the issues that come up like these are still complicated issues. And, you know, having seen what happened in self-driving, which was more or less that like, you know, it's easy to get to 90 percent, very, very hard to get to 99 percent. I think that like something similar will happen is with large scale agent deployments and that like, you know, final 10% of accuracy will be like, you know, will require a lot of work. Yeah, even for uh, software driving cars right now, there's the remote assist for all these super edge case. So there's still a human at the end managing the car. Yeah. And the ratio, by the way, I mean, um, the companies don't publish them, but I think the ratio is something like five cars to, to one teleoperator oh. um, or or maybe even less than maybe three cars per teleoperator. So um, the ratio is like, you know, much lower than people think. I think that like humans are much more involved even in self-driving cars than I think most people appreciate. I mean, which if you put it in that perspective, I think it's still very optimistic. It's just the output of getting rides instead of doing in today's world, if you're an Uber driver, you just do one car. In this world, you can do five cars, right? Well, you have to believe for this, like, for an optimistic version of the future where, you know, unemployment is still low, etc. You just have to believe that humans are, like, almost insatiable in their desire and their demand. Um, and that, like, you know, prices will go down, things will become, you know, uh, the, the economy will become more efficient, and we'll just, like, want more. And I think this has been a pretty reliable trend for like the history of humanity is that like you know um we have somewhat insatiable demand um and so i have i have like conviction that like you know the economy can kind of get as efficient as it needs or as it like can get like hyper hyper efficient and then human demand will just like continue to sort of like fill the bucket yeah.